All right, it just stopped raining. It's an hour away from sunset, so naturally I'm going to film a little disc golf video. So I want to try to get, uh, get this little nine hole course in. I'm trying to extract revenge on Wortham Trail uh, because uh, the last time I was here, I played with a starter set that was uh, three discs and they were all lightweight, about 147 grams each. So I'm gonna try now a more full bag of 10 discs that I use for all my games now, which is basically three putters, three mid-ranges, and three fairway drivers. And so now I'm gonna give this course a try with heavier discs. These are all about max weight. They're within the 175 to a 180 gram uh, category where possible. So that's what I'm gonna play with. All right, looks like I got a little bit of enough shot. I'm about 60 feet away, maybe a little bit less. All right, I'm about almost 20 feet away, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up my uh, disc and get a par. All right, the basket, if you remember seeing in the previous video, is basically that away. I'm going to take a slightly different approach. Rather than throw that way, I'm going to try to throw that way and let it hook around a little bit. At least that's what I'm going to try. Here we go. Mike Zell. Kind of in route. The reason I chose to film at about this time was Texas is really hot at this time of year, usually in the 90s, in the midday for most of the day. So I'm going to just give this a shot in more temperate weather, i.e. the high 80s. Alrighty, I'm a good 60 feet out, so I'm going to use my rhino for an approach. That's almost what I want. All right, let's give it a try. The harder holes are ahead, but I'm enjoying taking care of business on the shorter holes that allow me to hopefully pad my score for uh, closer to par when I'm done. That's the goal. All right, I'm gonna try my FD. That one got cut a little early, so I'm going to try my pig for an approach. Not too bad. I've got a putt, but not a close one. All right, wish me luck. So it is actually a little depressing to miss a close and easy putt like that, but unfortunately that's part of the game. I actually hit part of this hand with the disc, yet I still managed to get it past those trees. All right, I'm gonna use my rhino as an approach towards the basket. All right, here we go. All right, another approach. Let's try it with my pig. I don't even see the basket, but I'm going to go throw there anyways. Normally I'm trying to stick to max weight discs. I have uh, this one lone 147 gram driver in my bag. Everything else is 175 or greater, but this is what I want to throw that away.
that was actually too low. Okay, so not only did I throw it too short, I threw it in the wrong direction. It's not that away, it's that away. So I'm gonna adjust slightly and throw it that way. So I'm going to be honest with you, that's not good. I should know where I'm throwing in the first place. And uh, <laughs> the uh, next throw was not terribly accurate either. But this is disc golf. Sometimes you need to learn from mistakes. And this mistake was not determining where the basket was before I start, started throwing. This time I see the basket. Unfortunately, I'm left with an upshot about 130 feet, so I'm gonna break out my MD. Unfortunately, the MD is short, so I'm gonna have to get close. I'm not gonna run it because I'm not that good. Or am I? All right, it's just a short distance away. I've now completed my best solo performance ever uh, in returning to this course. Uh, this time, the addition of multiple other discs and with nearly all of them being max weight, that helped me a lot in this game to get better performance. Although to be fair, the win was much reduced this time than the prior time I was here. So in theory, I would have also done better with just three discs but I did have the ability to use some other discs here, change things up a little bit, putt with a couple different discs, uh, use uh, a couple different fairway drivers, and if needed, uh, a mid-range or two. So I can't really complain. I uh, was able to come through with some clutch putts towards the end, and I was able to salvage par as well as make a couple birdies. And that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.